And right now, rain moving through the north metro and into northern Colorado. The powerful storm starting this afternoon, pounding neighborhoods with heavy rain and piles of hail. A new video tonight from Wheat Ridge. As the worst of the storm hit, the rain and hail so loud, it's hard to hear anything else. And you can see the pea-sized hail quick to pile up, even causing flooding in parking lots and creeks. In 7 News with team coverage on this weather alert, Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson tracking tonight's radar and the threat of storms tomorrow. And we start with 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger live in Lakewood with the impact of this round of weather. And the evidence of that hailstorm earlier today still here. Check out this road in Lakewood, the neighborhood road. As you can see me falling into this, it's almost like a pile of snow. It's not, and it's so, so potent right now. It's getting into my shoes as I walk through this right now. Three-foot pile of hail. It was the loudest. It, it was incredible. It looks like winter. Holy hailstorm, Batman. Pea-sized hail pounding Wheat Ridge. I thought there was a tornado. Lightning was going crazy. I mean, it was, it was like a movie. On 26th place near Quail Street in Lakewood. It's hail, not snow. Anna amazed at this super-sized shovel. <laughs> it's funny. Helping to clear about four feet of hail blocking the neighborhood. <laughs> This is unbelievable. I've never seen that much hail in one place. Neighbors coming together in shorts and boots. I've been out here for what, two hours? Tank tops and galoshes. Just trying to clear the waterway so it all flows through. Mother Nature and this blocked drainage area to blame. Though this boy not taking any chances, announcing, I didn't do it. Scoop by scoop, a path is made, and the drain finally playing catch up. Might as well try to get as much down there as we can. Off our street, onto someone else's. One of the neat things that's happening right now because of the temperature here and, the, and how cold the hail still is, you can see there is a bit of a hail fog on the street, and that is true of some of the streets around here in Lakewood. This is still the pile that's left. You see me kneeling down, how it is, uh, to, to my perspective, as I stand up, this is my favorite part. I like to say I'm 5'10", and you can see how high it is here. Uh, there may be some plow crews coming through again tomorrow here on this street to get rid of what remains and what's not being drained out. Reporting live in Lakewood, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. And earlier today, 7 News capturing this fog caused by all that freezing hail hitting our hot roadways earlier. This video from 31st and Ward, the fog so thick, visibility is limiting how well you can see cars on the road. Look, you can barely see that one. Visibility only a few feet. And all that rain and hail flooding out parking lots. A foot of water covering tires. 7 News viewer Dave Hirsch sending us these photos. This is from 44th and Washington, excuse me, 44th and Wadsworth in Wheat Ridge. While others were forced to just have their vehicles towed away, the water rising too fast to drive out of the storm. <laughs> 